Coach, it's not it's not Anchorage, but how's it feel to be uh, yeah. be in Stanford and you know, feels awesome. Region? Yeah, it feels awesome. I've never been here before, so this has been a great life experience for me to be in this part of the country. I've been to San Francisco uh, once or twice, but never been here in Palo Alto. So beautiful campus, beautiful city, um, amazing weather, beautiful ballpark. So it's been great. Getting to practice on the field. I mean, what what are your? I know the the foul territory is huge, but just kind of your initial you know thoughts on you know practice. Uh, on the field. The, the outfield, you know, they, they, they say it plays small during the day, and I guess once we started hitting, the ball, uh, the ball started going out of the ballpark, but it looked pretty big. And certainly the foul territory, you're a long way from the field. There's a lot of things you have to talk about, guys being in proper backup position. Um, you know, if this particular play happens, you know, if a pitcher or a catcher and a first baseman go to catch a pop-up and there's a runner at third, somebody's got to cover home or the guy can tag up. So a lot of different things you have to talk about. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, Still baseball. Troy talked a little bit about, you know, you mentioned that bullpen outing he had before the SEC tournament, how much that changed things. What, what, what do you feel like is the the mechanics of that? What, what yeah, clicked? I just think it's more of a mental thing for him and probably something we should have tried sooner, probably something we should have tried or should try with Detmer. Uh, put him in a different environment, not thinking, of, doesn't have to think a whole lot, just go get loose, run in there and pitch. Um, way more about attacking the strike zone in a short amount of time versus trying to stretch yourself out over time. Uh, so, you know, that's what I asked him after that outing when he got those four outs. He's like, hey, can you just take that same mentality and do a start? He said, yeah. And that's what we got on Tuesday. So, um, yeah, if we, can, if we can get that again this weekend, that'd be good for the Aggies. Do you know what uh, the pitching outlook will look like for starters? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, John, you know, we'll start Johnston or Lampkin uh, tomorrow. Uh, haven't decided yet. Need to see uh, how they both feel. Um, but uh, I, you know, Johnston, Lampkin, uh, uh, Wansing, uh, certainly, and, and Nathan in, a, in the right spot could start. Anything on Cal State Fullerton now that you've watched them on video? What do you yeah. think? Yeah, better handle the ball. You know, better throw strikes. Better handle the ball. Classic Cal State Fullerton, you know, style of baseball. Pitchers going to throw a lot of strikes. Pitchers are going to pitch at the bottom of the strike zone. Pitchers are going to change speeds, uh, and they're really going to put pressure on you with the bunt game. Like you better be able to field your position. The good bunts, no one's getting you out. Just that's fine. Eat it. But the bad bunts, I mean, those are those could be four to five out easy outs in a game if you don't if you just handle the ball, right? But with all this foul territory, you throw one away, and now you start worried about that. And you, they have guys with power, and you leave a ball up, and they're playing. You know, they're playing super well. And they play a great schedule. Went to TCU this year. Um, they're always playing as good a schedule they can play. So they play these guys, I think, uh, Stanford. So um, yeah, they're not going to be afraid of anybody. Overall health of the team, everybody still feel pretty good for you? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think, uh, I think coming out here, uh, pushing the clock back a little bit, guys got some extra rest. Uh, so I think that's good. And getting in this weather where you're not just beat up with the heat, uh, that, that's probably a good thing as well. So as far as I know, everybody's in pretty good shape. How do you feel about this team heading into a regional compared to you know last year when you guys were starting your run? Well, last year you know you're playing home, so you felt better about that. But but in terms of starting pitching, you have to feel better about this team uh, than you do last last year's team because you have you know, Prager was at the end of his rope, Micah was kind of up and down, Nathan was real consistent, um, and then really you just had Menifee and Palish to get you the bulk of the outs in the bullpen. Whereas this year, Ashenbeck, Garcia. Um, Dillard, you know, there's a lot, there's way, there's more options down there. Most of them left-handed, but more options. Kind of along the same lines, compared to five weeks ago, to a month and a half ago, where do you feel like this program is? The program? Yeah, well, the squad, the, uh, the team. The team. Well, there's yeah. a difference between the program and the team. The but team. Yeah, the team's team's in a really good spot. You play nine SEC games in 11 days and win what? We were six and three. In those nine games, and all of them, all of them close. Uh, so, you, and so, I'm really proud of the way our guys play, especially how they handled the emotions of the very first game. That was, that was as tough, tough of an emotional loss as, I, as I've ever been a part of. Um, and then, come back in the ninth inning of the second game. So, really proud of the way the guys played throughout the whole stretch. Obviously, Lampkin's a guy you trust on the mound, but all those freshmen this week, how important is it for them to get off a good start uh, in their first regional? Jace, Max, and, and obviously Justin. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think it's, I think it's, I mean, they've, once you play through an SEC tournament, I don't want to make, you know, I don't want to sound elitist or anything, but you've, you've seen everything there is to see. So as long as they don't make it any bigger than what it is, then we'll be fine. Um, 
but you know that's the beauty of, of our conference is you're prepared for every environment. You might see as good a pitching, but you're never going to see better pitching. I mean, there's, Paul Skeen's not pitching in this tournament, so now all these teams have good pitchers, but you're not going to see better pitching. Uh, so, um, and Stanford certainly has a SEC caliber uh, power. Um, and that's a, they're very different West Coast club, um, but 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 I think our guys they've been battle tested, so they're ready to play. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. Yeah. All right.